All right, so this is our blank PowerPoint presentation, and we're going to turn this into a quiz. Um, in this video, I'm only going to show you one quiz question. You're obviously going to make more than one. Try at least three. So the first thing I'll do is get rid of these subtitles. And then in this title box, I'm going to ask my question. Now, I'm going to just create a correct or incorrect page. So go to new slides. Uh, I'm going to make it title only. I'm going to say congratulations. You are correct. So again, I'm going to insert shapes, grab this rectangle and just draw over the entire slide. Go to shape fill. I'm going to make this one green. Right click, center back. Let's make the text look a bit more exciting. That's not exciting, that was kind of boring. That's really exciting, I'm sure you'll agree. Okay, make it a bit bigger, make it even more exciting, of course. And then I'm going to duplicate this slide. Right click, duplicate slide. And I'm going to say, sorry, you are incorrect. We want to make sure that the person that answers incorrectly knows that we're disappointed. So we're going to turn this green into a dark red. Okay. And then even this one here, to make it even more disappointed. Um, yeah. Make it bold as well. It's bold already. There we go. All right. Now, so we've got our congratulations are correct and sorry you are incorrect slide. Now we're going to create our options. It's going to be in buttons here. So to create buttons, go to insert, shapes, and you can actually turn any of these into buttons. In fact, I've even got actual action buttons over here. I'm going to go with a blank rectangle for my button so that I can um, have some text written on it. There we go. There's one. Control C, Control V, copies and pastes. So again, those are three buttons. Now on here, I'm just going to start typing. Um, I'm going to say 00100. Then over here, I'm going to say 101. And over here, I'm going to say 11111. Yeah, we've got five ones there. Okay. Now I'm going to hold Shift if, and I'm going to click on this box and click on this box. So we've got all three of them selected. And I'm going to change the text so it's a bit bigger. And you know what? Let's just improve the look of our box. Uh, I like this one here. That was great. Okay. Now we're going to make these all link to either congratulations you're correct or so you are incorrect. This one here is actually the incorrect answer. So I'm going to right click it, go to hyperlink. Then we're going to click place in this document. And we're going to go sorry, you are incorrect. And there we go. This one here as well, right click, hyperlink, this is the correct answer. So place this document, congratulations, you are correct. Then over here, the final one, this is obviously incorrect. So again, right click, hyperlink, sorry, you are incorrect. Done, okay. Just test that one out. Click the wrong answer. There you go, so you're incorrect. Now, what I want to do is be able to take the user to the question. So here's what we're going to do. On the so you're incorrect slide, I'm going to add another button. So it's insert shapes. Um, as we're all the way down, we can go with a back button here or there. I'm going to just click the home button just because I just like it. Um, you see, when you use the action button, you get this box popping up, which actually makes that a little bit easier. Because it's a home button, I want to take the first slide, which happens to be the question. I'm just going to place that there. Let's make the text a bit smaller. This on. We'll, uh, we'll make it yellow as well. Yeah, we'll make it yellow. Okay. Now, we uh, click this button here. Click on the incorrect one. Takes over here. Click on this button to start the first page. Have a go at this yourself. Uh, try and get at least three questions in there. Uh, maybe you want to add some back and forwards buttons so you can move between questions. Um, what you might find is that you just want to highlight all of these, copy 
paste and then just change where these buttons link to and maybe have a back button on here to take you back to the question.